so it's an exciting time. You found the house. You're so excited. Let's go buy it. So we need to make an offer. What's involved? Well, the obvious is the purchase price. How are you going to figure that out? Well, we're going to look at not just the list price, but what other homes in the neighborhood sold for. Very important information. Uh, it's also going to be affected by the competition. So I'll be speaking with the other agent. We're going to find out is there other interest um, and, and where do we stand with that? Obviously, your motivation is important. Do you need to move in the next you know, 45 days? That's going to affect uh, your decision. Um, are you in this for the bargain and it doesn't matter if you lose it? Uh, there are lots of factors. Then the other thing we're going to need to know is um, uh, what settlement date? Obviously, you're going to look at the calendar. It's going to be a Monday through Friday. Uh, when you settle at the end of the month, um, that might work with the move out of a, an apartment. Sometimes it's a function of your work schedule. It's a function of holidays. Um, just know that the month that you settle, you pay interest for from the date of settlement to the end of the month. Um, but you do get a month off in your mortgage payment. So if you settle in, for example, March, you don't pay until May 1st. Beautiful thing. You're going to decide... Um, what inclusions you want. Do you want a, a typical transaction does not include the washer, dryer, or refrigerator, but you may choose to ask the seller for those. Sometimes they're included. We just want to make sure that's in the document. Um, and again, competition matters. If you're in a competing bid, let those go, right? Um, you're going to decide on the inspections. What do you want to have as a contingency? Which What inspections are we going to do? Um, do you want a home warranty? Sometimes the buyer asks the seller to provide a one-year home warranty. Again, competition affects that decision. You're going to fill out a buyer's financial information. That's required um, by my broker at any rate. It's a, um, so it gives the seller confidence that not just a pre-approval has been given, but they, have, they know you have enough cash. They know that your income will cover the mortgage payment. Obviously, you need a deposit check. That amount is going to vary with the, the uh, level of the price of your the property you choose to buy. The seller's, the, blah, 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 seller's property disclosures are required in the state of Pennsylvania. You will review those and sign those. A few other little documents, but then we're ready to do it. We'll submit the offer and then negotiations begin.